Hello, this is Geometry Lesson 9.4 Circles Basics and Example. In this, I will continue with more on circles. Now, first concept in this lesson is Tangent Secant Theorem. Now, what this says that you can see that PT is your tangent. This is a tangent. What is PAB? This complete line PAB is a secant. Now, what the theorem says that you don't need to go for proof because proof that will make the question lengthy. PT square will always be equals to PA into PB. PA into PB. Now, what kind of questions can come in this? For example, if PT is given to you as 12 centimeter, PB is given to you as 16 centimeter. Can you calculate the length of AB? That kind of question can come in your exam. Now we know that PT square is equals to PA into PB. This is 12 square. PT is 12 square 144. PA we don't know. PB we know that 16. So can I say that PA would be how much? 9 because 16 into 9 is 144 when PA is 9 this PA is 9 this is 12 this complete is 16 so can I say AB must be 7 then only 9 plus 7 will make it 16 so your answer should be AB is 7 centimeter and that will be your final answer next concept is PAB as well as PCD both are secant now what's the property property is that pa into pb this will always be equals to pc into pd how can we prove this we can prove with the help of tangent secant theorem we just discussed in the previous slide how we can draw a common tangent can i say that this is the pt i'm just making it. Now, if PT is a tangent, PT is tangent and PAB is secant, you can apply the tangent secant theorem, which says that PT square will be equals to PA into PB. Now, second case, PT is a tangent. Now, PCD is a secant. Again, apply the tangent secant theorem. PT square will be equals to PC into PD. Now left hand side of the both equations are equal we can say that right hand side will be always be equal. So can I say that PA into PB will be equals to PC into PD. So this you can easily prove with the help of tangent secant theorem. Next concept is very interesting. Uh, it says that if AB this AB is your chord as well as CD is your chord. AB and CD are the chords of circle. They are code, they could be diameter also. In general, I am taking AB and CDR code of a circle. Codes. Now, what the property says that this property says that they intersect at point O dash. So AO dash into BO dash will always be equals to CO dash into DO dash. How can we prove that? We can prove by the properties we just discuss what you have to do you have to first join all these four lines you four points a and c you need to join a and c also you need to join a and d you can join b and c also you can join this d and b now if i look at the code arc arc bc we just learned in the few lesson back that the angle subtended by arc in the same segment are equal look at the arc bc look at this arc bc this arc bc will subtend same angle angles in the same segment so can i say that this angle if if this angle is alpha this angle is one you can say that this angle will also be equals to one because these are the angles subtended by arc BC in the same segment. 
Second, same segment is no same side of arc BC. On the same side of arc BC, these two are the angles subtended by the same arc BC. So these two will be equal. What about I have taken the arc BC? Same way you can take the arc BD. If you take the arc BD, this is the arc BD. What is the angle subtended by this arc BD? Now BD subtends, you can say this angle, this angle is 2 in the same segment. So this angle will also be equal to 2. This angle will also be equal to 2. Same way you can take arc AD. This arc AD you can take. This is arc AD. I am just making this. This is arc AD. Now this arc is making angle in the same segment. Look at this. This angle is 3. So as well as this angle will also be equal to 3. Now last you can take the arc AC. AC arc you can take. This is the AC arc. Arc AC you can take. This arc AC. What kind of angle? This subtending the same angles in the same segment. This angle is 4. So this angle is also equals to 4. This 4 and 4 are the angles subtended by the arc AC in the same segment. Now you can see that the triangles will be similar. You can uh, make any two opposite triangles similar. Can I say that triangle, I can just write that triangle AO dash C, AO dash C will be similar to is similar to triangle D O dash B by A A A. All the three angles are same. You can see that in both the triangles, angle 1 and 3 are there. You can take this. These are the vertically opposite angles. This angle is 5. This angle will always be equal to 5. Now you can see that triangle A O dash C angle is 153 angles at point A angle is 1 at point O dash angle is 5 at point C angle is 3 same way at D point angle is 1 at O dash angle is 5 at B angle is 3 so these two two triangles are similar we have make the angle series same now what we have to do first two letters of a first triangle and first two letter of second triangle these two will make the corresponding sides so A O dash will be equals to D O dash the ratio will be same in similar triangle the ratio is same the ratio of the side is same A O dash upon D O dash first two letter first two letter this this will make the corresponding side once you have make the angle series same then you have to take the first let two letters of the first triangle first two letter of the second triangle this will make the corresponding side so side corresponding to A O dash is equals to D O dash second and third letter O C dash O dash C and O dash B. This two will be corresponding sides. First and third letters AC and DB. These will be co corresponding sides. So whenever the triangles are similar, the ratio of the side is same. Now you can see that cross multiply this these two. You will get AO dash into BO dash is equals to CO dash into DO dash. And that is what we wanted to prove. It means that any two codes intersect in a circle at any point O dash, the product to the parts will be equal. Here I am taking an example that will make the concept clear to you. Uh, o is the center of the circle. OE is given to you perpendicular to AB. AB is 12. This code length is 12. ED, the smaller part is 2. You need to find the radius of the circle. First, we need, uh, need to go back to the circle's basics. I told you that perpendicular from center to code bisect the code. OE is perpendicular to AB. So this is perpendicular. This will bisect the code. So bisect, it means that if A will be 6, same way EB will also be equal to 6. Now, apply the property I just discussed. You can see that your AB and CD both are codes. They intersect at point E. 
I just told you that when two codes intersect at any particular point, the product of parts is equal. Can I say that AE into BE will be equals to CE into ED. I know AE that is 6. I know BE that is 6. I only know ED is equals to 2 cm. This ED is equals to 2. Let's see we need to find the radius of circle. Radius of circle is R. This is the radius of circle R. So OC is R. Same way OD will also be equals to R. OD is also the radius of the circle. I am just writing OC is equals to OD is equals to radius of the circle. So complete OD is equals to R out of which ED is 2. So can I say that OE this OE will be R minus 2. So what I need to find CE. What is CE? CE is 2R minus 2. CE means OC plus OE. R plus R minus 2, 2R two minus 2. What is ED? This is equals to 2. So what I got that? So can I say that 2R minus 2, this will be equal to 36 by 2, that is 18. Divide by 2, R minus 1 is 9. So R is 10. It means the radius of a circle is 10 centimeter. That is what we need to calculate. So in this way, this theorem is quite important. Sometimes the questions which seems to be difficult can be easily solved with the help of this concept. Next is alternate segment theorem. This says that if AB is a cone, CBD is a tangent at point B. This says that the angle made by a code with the tangent, this angle, if this angle is X, angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. Now chord AB is making an angle X with the tangent. Now alternate segment will be here. The angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment will be same. This angle will also be equals to X. We can easily prove that. Let's draw the radius to the tangent at point B. Now this is we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So this complete angle will be equals to 90 degree. This complete angle I am just making. This complete angle OBD. This complete angle is 90 degree. This complete angle is 90 degree. Out of which part of the angle is X. So can I say that this angle. This angle will be equal to 90 minus X. I am just writing 90 minus X. Same way. You can join OA. Now, can I say that this OAB is an isosceles triangle because OB is radius. Same way, O is also a radius. Isosceles triangle angle opposite to equal sides are equal. So, can I say that this angle will also be equal to 90 minus x. We know that. In a triangle, sum of all the three angles is equals to 180. So what will be this angle? Can I say this angle will be equals to 2x? If this angle is 2x, then only 90 minus x, 90 minus x plus 2x. Sum of the all the three angles is 180 degree. Now this theorem is proved. You look at the arc AB. This arc AB, the angle made by this arc at the center 2x is double the angle made by the same arc at any point in the circle. We know this property angle made by an arc at the center is double the angle made by the same arc AB at any point of the circle. So this is x this will be 2x. So we can easily prove that these two angles will be equal. Let's discuss some question based on the alternate segment theorem. Now PR given to you that PR and PQ are tangents. Now we need to find the value of angle X. Find the value of angle X. PR and PQ are tangents. Find the value of angle X. Now apply the uh, first we can say that solution. 
can I first say that P R will be equals to P Q the length of tangents from any, any external points to a circle are equal that will make this a isosceles triangle P Q R will be isosceles triangle in which angles opposite to equal sides will be equal so can I say that this angle will also be equals to Y now we know that in a triangle sum of all the angles is 360 degrees so can I say 30 plus 2Y is equals to 180 so 2Y is 150 we get Y is equals to 75 degree so this angle is Y is equals to 75 this angle is also equals to 75 degree now apply the alternate segment theorem you can see that this there is a code QR this code QR is making an angle 75 degree with the tangent the same code QR will make the same angle in the alternate segment so this will be equals to 75 degree so angle X is equals to angle Y is equals to 75 degree R final answer next is also example based on alternate segment theorem you should first try to pause the video try to solve this question yourself then look at the solution now the question says that PQ is a tangent you need to find the value of X first of all can I say that what will be this angle in a triangle sum of all the angle is 180 degrees so 110 plus 20 130 so this angle will be equals to 50 degree now what about apply the we can apply the alternate segment theorem what the theorem says that angle made by a code with the tangent this 50 degree angle the same angle will be formed by this code QS in the alternate segment so this angle the angle formed by QS in the alternate segment this angle will also be complete will be also be equals to 50 degree applying the alternate segment theorem the angle made by code QS look at the code QS with the tangent is 50 degree the same code will make the same angle 50 degree in the alternate segment now look at the triangle QRS look at the triangle QRS in this triangle QRS 110 degree is the external angle we know that external angle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angle so external angle is equals to 110 this will be equals to sum of two opposite interior angle one of them is 50 can I say this angle this angle will be equals to 60 degree exterior angle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angle now look at the code arc RS this arc look at this arc RS now angle made by this arc at any point on the circle is 60 so angle made by the same arc RS at the center will be double this angle will be 120 degree so answer is 120 degrees our final answer that is the value of X so that was all about lesson 9.4 circles I will continue with more on circle in the next lesson thank you